Hi guys, um, good evening once again. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And um, today's tutorial is going to be simply on how to um, remove a background and replace it with um, another background, making it look like we're shot in the studio. So I shot this image in the house of a client and so now we're going to use it as a sample to um, do this um, tutorial. So first of all, I have the um, image loaded um, Photoshop Academy here. Yeah, it's a good tool for um, photographers around the world. So um, the first step is, first things first, I'm using um, Photoshop 2020 and Photoshop 2020 has the option of the um, object selection tool. So there are different selection tools you can use. You can select them from here. We have object selection tool, which is a new tool that um, Adobe um, added to um, Photoshop from 2020 upward. So we have the quick selection tool and the magical one tool. There are different selection tools you can use. We have the um, lasso tool, polynomial, polygonal lasso tool, and the magnetic lasso tool. So, but in this case, we're going to be using the object selection tool. and. As much as we're using the object selection tool, the object selection tool is not a very perfect tool as well, as much as it, as much as um, it looks like. And I would show you, for instance, let's go here. First things first, select the object. Oh, sorry, that's a quick selection tool. I'm going to use D, um, Control D rather. So you go to the object selection tool and you just click on where you want to select. And it gives you this. Now it looks like a perfect selection, but it's almost perfect because the AI, the artificial intelligence that has been inducted into this um, software, gives this selection. So let's zoom in to see. Can we see this, the edges of this place? It's not really smooth, but it has given um, a head like a guideline easier to use you just need to do some adjustments now this is where <clears throat> what i'm saying it doesn't the object selection tool doesn't nullify every other tool out there every other tool that is out there so let's move on so in this case i'll move from the object selection tool down to use the quick selection tool in this place we'll be able to select and refine the edges of whatever we need to select so let's just do that asap So we have this we have this selection already looking so good the selection is looking so good so now the next step now is to um, get this out alone now first things first we have to go to the selection tool which is here and we click on select and mask so to make sure the edges of our um, of our image are not looking so um, hard on themselves so we want to make them smooth and at the same time make them look sharp, increase the radius. Now, I don't want you to copy all these um, numbers because they vary for um, each image, whichever image you want to use it for, they really vary. So now look at this back here. Any place that looks left out, you can just use this much tool to clean it off. But everything looks so perfect. See, for instance, get out of and go to smooth. According to how much more you need, look at the edges are now smooth. If you take it back, they are rough back again. So you don't have to copy numbers so as not to um, um, destroy the image or trying to change the background. So you go to smooth, feather, yeah, then after feathering, it makes the edges much more softer after being smooth. Then you can increase the contrast so it looks better. Now look, it looks it looks refined like this the way it was shot on camera, but you don't want to increase your contrast too much so as not to have the image look like it was cut out of something. So let's reduce the contrast a little. Reduce the contrast a little. And I think we are good here. Yeah, we have a nice selection now. So we can always um, click OK. So clicking OK. Then right here, we can just add, to bring this out of this background without deleting the background or um, whatever is beside or behind or whatever is around it, you can just click the layer mask and then you isolate the background. And to disable the layer mask, you can just click Shift and click. You have your um, original layer in the background back. 
So now that we have this um, out, now we can do anything we want with this image. So um, we can decide to put this anywhere in a church, in a garden, in anywhere as long as the lighting conditions match um, each other. But in other words, um, to be easier done to get your um, lighting positions and everything, I think it's better you just edit your picture first after you've done your selection because after editing you might know you might get tired and you might not want to do some selection but you still have to do it so basically we just go straight up to um, um changing the background since that's what um, this um, um tutorial is all about so let's go to our browser and get some backgrounds yeah so let's go brown studio background And um, let's check, you go to images, it's pretty easy to find a um, studio background, uh, take it like this, but it's not a large image, so we have to go to size large, so you have larger images, 5 by 7, this is 1000 by 1000, this one looks like something that has a, a floor, and you can go for this also, different shades, as the shadows and highlights on top of it so we go here bring it underneath and enlarge it so pretty much looks like they are standing on something right but it doesn't still look like it okay now we have an error in our selection the back of now see what i was saying like you need to very be very careful in selection so we select the layer mask come on the layer masks Select it, disable, go back to the quick selection tool, then we do this. Bring we have this back, delete this layer mask also, vector mask rather. Now we have the proper selection, so what we have to do right now is create another layer mask because we already failed to um, keep that intact. So right now we still have to do our selection or not. Yes, we do have to. So we come here, select layer mask, select our mask, smooth. We want to go in and check it out, feather it, contrast. not perfect yet reduce the feathering good we click ok now we bring in our background again go underneath your image now it looks it practically looks like we are standing on a backdrop we're standing on something so we can do this and crop the image down really easy right in it so we have this now you can look for something way cooler let's just do um not looking for that mona lisa kind of thing but this looks more like it so let's do this this is another I can see some issues on um, the abstract brown studio vinyl clothing, so let's try this. We're just gonna keep trying till we find one that fits. This doesn't really look like it fits to me though, because yeah, so can do. Start, keep searching. This looks more like it, but it looks so dark. And now looking at this, looks like okay, yeah, dad and daughter. Um, so you can come to this layer mask. If you have any missing parts, I think you can do this and open your ear. So brush to the artist. And we have our image back out here. So. That's a simple thing on how to change the background of an image. So thank you guys for watching this. Next time you can always subscribe to my channel, like my video.
and see you next time. Thank you very much.